Hey guys, and welcome back to a very, very special episode. Today, we're going to be talking about, you guessed it, shit. <laughs> it is Monday Motivation after all, and um, as the old saying goes, either take a shit or get off the pot. So, with that being said, time for me to get off the pot. All right, well, today's episode, we're mainly going to be talking about, you know, let me not forget my, uh, my phone and all that good stuff, but, you know, today, I'll, honestly, we're going to be talking about the, you know, the, talking about, sorry, I got a little distracted with something outside. We're going to be talking about toxicity. We're going to be talking about shit. Simple as that. And, um, and what it all means, you know, how, how it all, like, really... You know what it really all means you know simple as that so here's gonna be standing outside today we're just gonna be talking and uh, shooting the shit a little bit no pun intended okay a little bit of a pun intended but you know the main reason why I started you know uh, my episode there today was because well you know a lot of times we wake up in the morning with the you know first of all we'll go to bed at night and thinking to ourselves oh we're gonna have an amazing night I mean or an amazing day the next day everything's gonna be awesome and then what happens you wake up and your day starts and as soon as you wake up and your day starts you start realizing that um, well first of all as soon as you wake up it might be you know you might start feeling like shit literally like the minute you wake up you're probably not feeling your best self and therefore it's a lot, it's really, really hard to, I don't know, motivate yourself to um, follow your dreams, to, you know, go and do all the things that you said you were going to do and so on and so forth because um, you're just not feeling like it. You're feeling like shit. You're feeling horrible. You know, sometimes all you got to do is take a shit, eliminate that shit from your life. And the minute that you do that, well, things start changing and start getting better the simple i mean it's, it's really sometimes that simple but a lot of us have trouble with that sometimes you know some of you guys get constipated whatever it is you know but we get <laughs> we get stuck with in our ways we get stuck with some of these problems that we think that we can't get rid of so you know for example i was having a chat with a good friend of mine last week and we were talking about um you know, just a situation where, you know, he wants to grow and do things and, uh, you know, he has all these uh, ideas and positively, you know, positive uh, things that he wants to um, do with his life. But the people he's surrounding himself with at the moment, you know, they're extremely negative. You know, not only are they super negative, you know, but they're always talking down to him like he can't accomplish his dreams. He can't do what he wants to do. Um, who the hell does he think he is? for you know even having the audacity to follow his dreams or do certain things to pursue them and um then you know he ends up a lot of times talking to me because i don't judge him in that way in fact i'm always telling him the opposite you know i'm always telling him that you of course you can do it you can definitely accomplish these things look at all these other things that you've done already in the meantime of course you know it's only a matter of time before you get to this and to that and i'm proud of you and uh, you can do it and uh, and so on and so forth and um it all kind of came to a head last week when we were talking a little bit and um you know he he was just um it seems like he was extremely frustrated with the situation and uh and i was just letting him telling him no and letting him know that right now at the end of the day what he really needs to do is just start getting rid of some of these people and some of these people he might not want to get rid of or you know eliminate from his life but sometimes there's no choice sometimes these people these toxic people or these these uh these people out there these relationships eliminate themselves but sometimes they don't because we become so comfortable in our ways and and what we're doing and how we're living for us to you know want to eliminate these things from our lives you know just because um again just the, we're scared of change we're scared of a lot of things and um but the thing is that in order for you out there especially i'm talking to the people out there that are you know growing that want to make changes with their lives you know all, all, all the positively all the positive people out there that really want to change and make a difference or are trying to change or are in that path 
there's a lot of people out there. Again, you know, if you see a lot of thumbs downs in my videos, I'm not talking to those people. Those people obviously don't want to change and they enjoy being miserable. But I'm talking to a lot of you guys out there, a lot of people out there that are miserable, even though things might be going great and you don't know why. It's because basically you're trying to please people that don't fucking matter. It's like this, you know, I'm gonna put a little Gary V video at the end of this one because again, this is Motivational Monday, we're trying to keep it keep it going and uh, there's a video of his out there that, that again, really pertains to all this. And the reality is, is like, you gotta ask yourself, why, why are you doing this? Why are you doing whatever it is you're doing? What, you know, these dreams that you're following or this life that you're living, why are you doing it? Are you doing it to please other people or are you doing it to please yourself? Are you doing it to make you happy? Or are you doing it to make people happy that are not gonna matter in a few years? You gotta look at it like this. When you're, like, just like Gary Vee says, when you're 87 years old, are these people even gonna fucking matter? They're not. See, you guys are gonna matter. Friends and family of mine that have been with me are gonna matter. In fact, you guys out there know exactly who's gonna matter, and you guys also know exactly who doesn't fucking matter. And you need to make more people in your life be the ones that matter and eliminate the ones that don't matter sure you know you might not be able to do it all at one time but you definitely have that ability to do it you definitely have the ability to to really do it you know so you can just start with one and then the next one and then the next one and so like you you eliminate someone that's extremely toxic and horrible um to you your dream your life and all that shit and you replace it with someone that's gonna be an enhancement to your life and sometimes you don't even have to replace that person because just by eliminating toxic venom, like just like when I'm in the toilet, you know, I, I took a shit this morning and I, I'm not replacing it with more toxic food. No, I just eliminated the toxicity and we're good to go. Maybe later on today, if I'm hungry, I'll, I'll film my belly again and eliminate it again the next morning. I know too much information, but you know, the reality is that, you know, that's kind of like how, how all this works. And, um, you know, a lot of times, when, you know, just going back to the beginning of the video, when you're waking up in the morning and you feel like shit, you know, sometimes it's normal. You know, sometimes it's just, you know, we're human. You know, we have our day. Sometimes you wake up and you feel like a million bucks and you're dancing like it's fucking Mary Poppins and all that shit. And you're doing okay. And you don't even know why. A lot, but, a lot, you know, again, once you are starting to get in tune with yourself, with your body, with, you know, all of these things, you start realizing that you have a lot of control over this stuff. Sometimes I'll wake up in the morning and I don't feel like, I don't feel well. I'm not feeling, you know, like I gotta work or, you know, whatever, I need to motivate myself. And really, when I just look back at what I ate the night before, or if I drank the night before, or what I did the day before, or the days prior, I'm like, oh, okay, now this is why I don't feel like it. But if all of a sudden I wake up like a million bucks in the morning, and I look and I think to myself, well, what did I eat last night? What did I do last night? What did I and then you start realizing, oh, okay, I eat healthy. I eat, you know, a lot of uh, fruits and vegetables and, uh, and meat, you know, just pure, clean protein and all that shit. And I've been doing that for a few days. That's why I feel like a million bucks today. Or I eliminated certain people from my life that were, you know, just bothering me. So it could be like your mom or your or a good friend or whatever. Sometimes you got to tell your, your family or your friends. You got to tell them, hey, go fuck yourself. This is what I want to do with my life. This is my fucking opinion. If you love me, you'll stick with me. If you don't, I'll see you in six years. And maybe in six years, you'll fucking realize what you lost and you'll come back to me. But in the meantime, I got to go do me. And I have all these other individuals out there that care about me. And, and, and you got to, you know, you got to like not just talk the talk. You got to walk the walk. You know, um, this is, again, why I'm here every single day for you guys. I'm not only talking to talk, I'm trying to walk the walk as well. And I'm not saying that I'm a fucking badass and the most perfect guy in the world. I'm far from that. But, again, you know, this is why I, I put myself out here for you guys so you guys can see that I'm just a regular guy. I'm, I, I don't, I'm not a secret. I'm, I don't have any secret superpowers. I'm not, you know, some, you know, magical beast or whatever. I'm just a sexy beast, but that's a separate story for another day, you know, and um, the thing is, is that I just have control over my actions myself, As and, and again, not, not all the time, you know, we're all human, you know, sometimes I don't have control over myself, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, hey, I, I shouldn't be eating that ice cream at the end of the night, but I do. And things like that or sometimes I shouldn't be talking to X Y and Z person but I do or watch certain things but I do and uh, we're all human but the fact is that like <clears throat> not only am I fully aware of that but I can freely not just talk about it but freely admit that to myself and be like well it's okay if I want to watch 
you know, some shitty comedy like SNL uh, on a Sunday night. Um, once I'm done with all my work and all this shit, I can do that. I might feel a little guilty, even though I have no reason to feel guilty. But again, it's all normal because it's like when you're looking at the bigger picture, that's when you start feeling guilty. When you're not looking at the bigger picture, you're watching that Game of Thrones shit at night, and uh, and you and you feel like shit. You feel horrible. You feel like like um, like the biggest loser in the world, and you don't know why. You really don't know why, but you really do know why. You know why? It's because you wasted away your fucking weekend. Your weekend was again just a few hours or a few you know a few days of bliss, and then you know you're already um and. Uh, you, you, you know, you're already not scared. What's the word I'm looking for? You're already dreading Monday morning. And Monday mornings are your worst enemy. And in fact, that's why a lot of you guys are probably watching these videos on Monday morning. These Monday motivational videos, you know? Like a lot of people do because it's like you're trying to motivate yourself just to get not only through the day, but through the whole fucking week. And when Mondays, when Mondays are literally your... Your, your worst day and when Fridays are your best day, then your shit's broken. Something's fucked up, okay? Because look, listen guys, you guys already know, I got a girlfriend out here and she comes here Friday morning, okay? And she leaves Monday morning. She just left a few hours ago. But, you know, I could easily fucking say, you know what I mean? Oh my God, I, I love Fridays. Fridays are my best day and, and uh, I fucking hate Mondays because that's when she leaves and we can't have any more fun or anything like that. And in and, 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 and truth, there's a little truth to that, but the reality is that they're, you know, that's great. I have awesome weekends, but at the same time, you know, I'm fully aware that, you know, now my weekends are what they used to be. Sure, I'm enjoying my life a lot and doing a lot of great stuff with her. And in fact, you know, we're working together on certain things and all that good stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, I am wasting it away when it comes to Jose terms, when it comes to Gary V terms, because I'm living my life. But am I really wasting it away? No. I am just enjoying my life and I'm constructively choosing to use my time in that way. So what do I do now? Well, as soon as Monday comes, meaning as soon as she leaves for work early in the morning on Mondays, again, I don't hate Mondays. Now I have like even more incentive to work even harder and faster so that I can get more done during the week. So that way when Friday finally comes, guess what? And not only am I done, but I'm ahead of the game and I can truly enjoy the week and I can truly enjoy the fruits of my labor. I can truly enjoy and I can continue creating, producing with a, with a clean slate. You know, you know what I mean? With like a free mind mentality and not assuming or thinking to myself that I'm not accomplishing or doing anything and just being a lazy fuck, which I'm not. And that's the thing, you know, it's, it's all about prioritizing your time, prioritizing your life. Okay, eliminating the things in your life that are not there to help you at all. And, and, and start, you know, once you start eliminating these things that are not there to help you, then all of a sudden you not only do you have all this free time, but now you have all this free space to start filling it with things that are going to be awesome for your life, that are going to be helping you out, that are going to be a major component to the benefit of your longevity, your life, your future, your everything. So, you know, there's just a lot of things that we all have to consider and talk about. You know, again, how I started my episode today is because that's the first step. You know, the first step is admitting it. You know, it's like anything else. The first step is admitting it. The second step is then, you know, starting to, you know, take steps in the in, uh, direction of fixing that problem or eliminating that problem or what have you. So the first step for me was like I, I admitted to myself that I, I had a lot of shit in me and I had to get rid of it. Second step, I went to the toilet and I got rid of it. Third step, I wiped my ass and I cleaned my fucking hands and I flushed the toilet. Again, I don't try not to be too nasty out here, but you know, in a weird way, that's kind of like how all this is supposed to go. All right? Like, um, these are all metaphors for life. God, it's fucking hot as balls out here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's no sun now. It's just all cloud, so it's like super humid, super hot. Um, I really didn't have anywhere to go, um, so that's why I'm filming on my freaking balcony. But <laughs> anyways, no more sidetracking on there. But yeah, again, guys, you know, it's all about making things happen, you know? So, like, I, I knew that, you know, I've already filmed all my episodes for the week. The one episode that I didn't film was Monday Motivation, and I could have easily easily said you know what let me just throw in another episode talk about something completely different than i want to talk about and put that as monday but i was like no i'm making mondays a little bit of a challenge for me now and these are going to be my monday motivational videos and i'm going to motivate myself to figure out a way to make a video to bring it to you guys so that you guys have something to wake up to and motivate yourselves and get and you know kick ass through the whole week because 
you know, that's kind of like how I'm looking at these things now. It's like now it's like I have to make these videos for not, just, not for me. It's for you guys because you guys are looking forward to these videos and a lot of you guys are stuck in situations right now which you don't want to be stuck in and I get it because you guys all talk to me about it and kind of like kindly remind me that not everybody has the 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 life that I have or the or, or, are, or in the positions that I am but you know just like I remind you guys that you know it's not it, it, it's 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 a lot more complicated than we all see it's a lot more complicated you know again in my own personal life and your own personal life and all these things but at the end of the day we all have the power okay and uh just like you guys are looking at me i'll look at gary v and it's not necessarily for motivation but i'll look at him you know more you know um as as uh as a guide you know as, as to like um you know how to keep going because it's like I, you know it's always it's very very easy you know um to just turn on the camera and tell you you know what you guys want to hear but it's another thing to turn on this camera and being 100% real. That's why I enjoy him and I think that's why you guys enjoy me because that's, that's all we're kind of doing. We're just presenting ourselves in the most real fashion possible, meaning no editing, no nothing, just talking to you guys. You know, like if we're friends, you know, mano a mano, mano a woman, whatever it is, you know, and, um, and getting these things across because again, it's... Um, I could very easily be making negative videos so that you guys can wake up and wake up to these negative videos and I'm gonna get 10 times as many views on these negative videos. But is that really doing a service to you or the community or the world? No, it's not, it's doing the complete opposite. So it's a lot harder to do positive things. It's a lot harder and more difficult to get views, you know, doing positive things and, and, and awesome things and happy things and, and motivational things. But you know what? I do them. Why? Because you guys need them. I need this. We all need this, okay? Not only does this help you guys, it helps me as well. Because to be one billion percent honest with you guys, I wasn't in the mood to make um, this motivational video today or right now. But you know what got me in the mood? I got me in the mood. The fact that I didn't want to disappoint myself. And just going full circle to that and eliminating the people that don't matter and, and putting people that do matter in your life. Because, again, the people that would not give a fuck about me making that video or not, they're not around. You know, now it's I'm, I'm literally surrounding myself with people that I that I think matter. You know what I mean? Me, literally. So it's like now I have a duty to do this stuff. And it's the same thing for you guys. You know, if you guys eliminate the toxic situations out of your life, because again, the toxic situations just make things comfortable. And they and then when you say I don't want to do something, they're like, oh, yeah, don't do it. Don't worry about it. Here, have some ice cream, watch Game of Thrones with me. But when you surround yourself with the right people and you say, hey, I don't want to do this. You know what those people are going to tell you? What do you mean you don't want to do it? Stop being a lazy f Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Again, you know, I have to eliminate some of this fucking heat. It turned off the camera again, so I had to put it under the fan for a little bit. I'm thinking of uh, tomorrow's episode, or from, from now on when I start filming on these things, I'm going to start filming from my freezer or my refrigerator. M it might help. So anyways, like I was saying, just do the homework that you need to do. I don't even know what the fuck I was saying because I completely forgot and um, I can't really look back at the film until I start editing it. But again, just to come full circle, it's all about um, eliminating the things that you don't need in your life and, and adding the things that you do need in your life. And all of you guys individually know exactly what that is. I can't tell you what it is, but you know deep down inside what it is. And if you don't know what it is, that's when you gotta do that soul searching and figure it out, okay? And that's it. That's all I'm going to end it with, guys. I really hope you have an amazing, awesome, baddest ass week possible, okay? Thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for last week. Thank you so much for all the love, all the everything. Thank you to all my patrons. Thank you to all my donors out there. Thank you to all the support. Thank you to all leaving all the comments. Thank you for all the love and support, period, in the story. I love you guys to death. And uh, last but not least, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And uh, I'll see you guys on Discord later tonight. I mean, on Discord, on BitTube, on DLive, on Twitch for the live stream later tonight. If you want more information, join the Discord. All the links are at the bottom, plus the links to the live streams are at the bottom. So please, I'll see you guys at 8 p.m. Eastern tonight on Twitch and the other live streamers. Thanks again. Enjoy your Monday. Enjoy your week. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Are you scared to do it because your parents won't like it? Um, no, my parents actually support me. Okay, so what are you scared of? Failing? Um, 
not failing, but um, still being at the same place when my friends are at the next level. Huge mistake. You don't want the same thing your friends want. No. So why the fuck do you care what they have? The biggest reason people are unhappy right now is because they value somebody else's opinion more than they value their own. Have the conversation with the person that's holding you back. The reason most people who are listening right now are not doing that thing is they're worried about the opinion of somebody. somebody, somebody, somebody. I am so devastated that you actually let your grandma's point of view, your mom, your dad, your sister, your aunt, you still let somebody else dictate based on their opinion every action you do and it's your life. The reason I'm super happy is nobody can tell me nothing. My wife, mom, and daughter can walk into my room right now, tell me I'm a piece of crap, and I would be 100% unfazed. That is some gangster emotional structure. If you're not feeling it, find new friends. I'm being dead serious about this. This one is real big for me. The only way I've seen, now that I'm older, that you can build confidence is if you surround yourself with people that are optimistic. Start trimming your friend group and start adding to your friend group predicated on what you wanna be. Like it's unbelievable what happened to me when I got into the Silicon Valley world and started meeting like Mark Zuckerberg and like Ev Williams and Sock and like Travis, like it changed my life. Everybody in this room needs to cut out as much of the noise and time with people that are negative and spend as much time with people that are positive. The people you spend time with are the ones that dictate your mindset. Yeah. You can limit your time with your mom. You can limit your time with your best friend. You could tell your girlfriend or husband to go fuck themselves. Yeah. You fucking roll up on your dad, your mom, your sister and say fuck you, I'm out. Because you're fucking toxic and I'll see you in six years if you figure out why the fuck I left. You're accepting to be in that relationship. If you feel motivated by this conversation or you're intrigued by it, add one new winner friend. Like, you know what I mean? Add one new winner friend and cut one loser friend. I feel like even when I give it away and I don't speak to them, the chatter of them talk like that means you that, like that, that, that means you value their opinion. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Please let this be the video that drills through your head that your life is predicated on when you get real quiet and you can't hear another fucking person's two cents that has nothing to do with you and everything to do with where they are in life. Are you really gonna let those eight or nine people dictate your life? Because you are so fearful of judgment from others that at the end of the day, when you're 87, you will not give a fuck about.